Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to align sequences on Genius Prime. Let's go ahead and go to Google, NCBI. I will use mitochondrion genome for primates. Complete mitochondrion. I already download the other, downloaded the uh, other primates. So let's get this one. Copy the name, file, fasta, create the file, and let's rename this. As you can see, I already have, I already had five sequences, and with the human, now it's six. Once I drag it, Genius Prime is going to ask me if I want to keep the sequences separate. That's what I do all the time, and the next step will be renaming these. All right, once that's done, let's create a new folder to keep everything organized. I'm gonna call this primate mitochondrion trial. Let's drag all of these by selecting and dragging them down. Uh, put them into this folder. So now everything looks better. A couple of things that we need to be looking at first is, as you can see that the, the sequences look like this, they're not aligned yet. But a couple of things, uh, first of all, complement the, the complement is basically reflecting the mRNA uh, sequences of all of these sequences. So if it's T, then it's going to be A, right? Uh, you don't have to keep it open, but for translation, which is going to show the amino acids, we keep it pretty much um, visible all the time. Pretty much, we keep it pretty much visible all the time because... Um, although nucleotides are quite important, amino acids are also very important in terms of sequences. So let's keep them open like this and let's go ahead and align them. Multiple align. Now we got a couple of options. Genius alignment will probably take 15 minutes with six specimens. Um, instead you can do muscle alignment or cluster omega. I'm going to go ahead and do the cluster omega. It should take about a minute. All right, so alignment is done. Although, and it looks like the um, the consensus. All right, so the alignment is done, and it looks like uh, the Homo sapiens has a head start. So what I love, what I really like about genius prime is that you can edit these sequences super easily so i can just select this part which is only um, present in human and i can basically go ahead and delete it i'm just going to say allow editing you click on delete on your keyboard and then well you press delete on your keyboard and it lets you delete all of these you 
you press the delete you press delete on your keyboard and that lets you uh, edit your sequences and I'm going to repeat the same process in the end of the sequences as well so I can have sequences that are equally long and let's get this part as well press delete and now we have this all of these sequences are covering the exact same spots exact same sequences and they're equally long let's go ahead and save um, it's gonna ask if we want to apply the changes to the original sequences I'm gonna say no because if you say yes these sequences the original sequences are going to be affected as well and we don't want that to happen so as you can see we got spots that are green um, those are low size th that are not those are low side that are not variable between sequences we got yellows which are slightly variable and red ones are pretty much saying that it is very variable within these six sequences within these six specimens and this is how you align the sequences.